welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as toward practical privacy preserving frequent item set mining on encrypted cloud data basically in this project the author has proposed a framework for enforcing privacy in frequent item set mining so where the data collected and mined in encrypted form in public cloud service so here you can see the architecture there are three entities available the data user the evaluator and the miner and also the CSP that is cloud service provider So now let us see the execution of the project. So we have developed this project in Java using NetBeans 8.2 and for the database we are using MySQL. And for storing the data in the cloud, we'll be using DriveHQ where the data will be uploaded in the DriveHQ. Now we will load the project. So kindly wait till the project is completely loaded into the NetBeans IDE. So now we will run the project. This is the welcome screen of the project, the home page of the project with the project title Toward Practical Privacy Preserving Frequent Item Set Mining on Encrypted Cloud Data and the abstract of the project which is mentioned in the base paper. As mentioned, you can see the entities that is the cloud, the, that is the data user, the data miner, the cloud service provider and the evaluator. Now I'll go to the data user. So here we have uh, formed only one data user where uh, you cannot create any new users uh, other than this. So here in the data user login, we'll be logging with the permanent uh, username and password that is user and user and click login and you can see the login is successful and click OK. Now here this is the welcome screen of the data user where you can see the option of upload data set, data request and logout. So first we will upload the data set. So in upload data set, you can see the option of uploading the data set and click upload and delete the existing data set in case uh, if the data set is already existed uh, that is you uploaded. If you want to delete that, you can we have give, given the option of upload deleting the data set. So we are, here we have used uh, movie lens data set. So first we will upload the data set and show you. So this is the data set and click upload. So once if you see this one already data set is uploaded, you can delete the existing data set. Data set deleted. You can see the data set is deleted. 
and now you can select it and click upload now you can see the uh, successful message of the data set is uploaded successfully and click ok now we will log in to the drive hq and check it out so now you, here you can see movie.csv has been uploaded ok you can check the time 747 you can check the time and date if we click it so here you can see that has been encrypted from it because uh, for the security purpose as we are storing the data in the public cloud so that is the major concept of the paper that we are going to do the frequent my item set mining in this encrypted data format so right now we have seen the file is uploaded in the cloud service okay uh, in data request currently there is no any data request so already this has been accepted data request now let us give a new data request and we will show you from the minor part now i will go to the data miner part so click data miner here we have option of creating new data miners so as i am a new user i'll click i'll click register and register it uh, by entering the name date of birth email id the gender the address phone number and the password and click sign up so you can see the the registration is successful now I'll log in with the registered email ID and the password for the data miner part so once the login is successful you can see the welcome screen of the data miner here you can see the options of mining request mine data analysis and logout so go to the mining request so first part is like uh, you can select the file uh, which has been uploaded in the cloud so here we have only one file that is we have uploaded only one data set that is movie data set so that you can see and once you, if you selected that and click request so now the request is sent So now you go to the data user to approve it. So the data user, here you can see the data request. So here you can see the minor name that is JP, the email ID, the file name, the requested date and time and the status is waiting. So once if we click accept, so it has been accepted and click logout. Now you go to the data miner part. And click login. Go to the mine data. Here you can see the select the file to request and click here you can see the secret key. So once the data the user approves approves your request, you will be getting the key in your email. So here you can see zero minute ago you can see the your mining request is accepted your secret key is so just copy this key to access it so click and click submit so now you can see the encrypted data and click decrypt and view Now the complete data set has been decrypted and now we can click view in format. So now you can see the formatted data. So which has large data sets in it. 
so around 5000 datas so here in the base paper you can see in the system model that uh, it maintains a transaction database which includes a massive number of transactions contributed from different users so the paper they have not mentioned in about any particular data set they have mentioned a transaction data set database that in that there should be multiple number of that is massive number of transactions so from this the the data the database should be made privacy and uh, the frequent item set mining should be done on it so we have completed the privacy part now we will see about the frequent item set mining part so we are we, uh, uh, we are going to do this frequent item set mining from this formatted data by clicking this you can have four options that is cluster by high rating just click this cluster by high rating so the complete data will be clustered based on the high rating so you can see the data has been formatted again you can see the cluster by low rating click it so it will be clustered according to the low rating formats cluster by genre so based on the movie genre it will be cost clustered and the final our frequent item set mining so in the frequent item set mining you can select the journals here you can see action adventure children horror comedy crime so or based on these journals for example if i am selecting for example if i am selecting crime and click submit here you can see the maximum and the minimum so here you can see in this selected crime journal you can see the which is the maximum uh, with the movie rating 5 which is switchblade sisters 1975 and minimum rating mad dog time 1996 movie rating 1 okay so in this way you can select on different journals also now i will select the action and click submit here you can see hunted the 1995 which has the maximum and under seg 2 dog territory which has movie rating 1 minimum rating so you can select anything and you can get the results of this in this way thriller uh, now we will go to the evaluator so in evaluator So in evaluator login you can see mining request so this is the welcome screen and this is the mining request made and the results of it and who are all the data miners available you can see those options and click logout and now in the cloud the cloud part you can see this is the welcome screen of the cloud and cloud part you can see the data miners files in the cloud the graph and logout and you can see who are all the data miners available the files in the cloud as per right now we have only one file and in the graph you can see the analysis part which has the total number of uh, movies and the journals accordingly if you want you can print this analysis part or you can save as jpeg or you can save as png formats and click logout and this is all about the project toward practical privacy preserving frequent item set mining on encrypted cloud data thank you for watching